Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Switch, and I thought I would review all three market indices this morning because they're all gapping up and making brand new all time highs, which I've been predicting. So it's very interesting because it just confirms, even within myself, to help give me the conviction to move forward and continue to make predictions for stocks and the overall market. The market's higher. I've been saying this all year. And we are, have been resting, actually, in the last week. Resting, we rallied here, rested, rested, rested. We've been resting to break out, which, which again, I've been predicting. Looks like the Qs are gonna go straight to 150. Whether it happens today or one day this week, it does appear that we're gonna go right there. And the market's gapping up. I'm making a new high today in the Qs. The SPY, we did not quite gap up over the high. Again, early, not the open yet. Previous high was Friday, 255.27. Who knows? We could rally right all the way up to 260. This in here is the market resting, waiting to make another move higher. This is not a top. Not that anyone should ever play a top or a bottom as a strategy because it just doesn't work. And let's really quickly here look at the DIA. This is making a new high right, right here. Do, do, do. There it is. So... And this looks very obvious to break immediately out. I mean, 2.30 is in sight, which isn't even that far away. So let's just get back to the SPY here uh, really quickly. Goldman reports this week, which should be interesting because, again, we don't know exactly what the stock's going to do, gap up or down. But the banks are part of the SPY index, and so it will be interesting to see. Uh, this, this market has been so strong, and I know people have been calling it extended and wanting to short tops and things like that. But as you see here, the market has continued to lift. I mean, every place here where it looked toppy, it lifted over it. Every place here where it looked toppy, it lifted over it. Even the top until here and it looked toppy, we lifted over it. Here again, double top, lifted over it. This gap up here that happened in 9-11, you could have bought in a SPY. And who knows when we break that, if, if anytime soon, we may not even break it at all before 2018 we may never break it who knows okay the market's higher and i've been saying this for years actually but this year it's really just been so obvious how much buying has come into this market in anticipation of so many things happening you know, the Trump tax plan passing or some some form of it, if not if not the form he rolled out, some kind of form of it. There's optimism in the economy, the growth, jobs coming back to the states. I mean, there's just this, this is new money coming into the market. Therefore, it's not going to flip and turn and sell it right out of it. And and it is really lifting at an astronomical pace. But yet it's been very hard for people to read, to trade because people aren't long this, they want to short it. That is absolutely crazy looking at the strength that's in the market here. So what I teach people is gaps. You could be buying the bullish gaps here in the market, not buying pullbacks. That is not how I ever look at anything, not what I teach, not what I trade, nothing, okay? But I know people love that. Even if you loved buying pullbacks, you could have bought every small, tiny, tiny, tiny pullback in the market and it's rallied, okay? But the better entries have been the bullish gaps. And people are missing it. They're missing it. And they're waiting for opportunities, actually, to give signs of a short, which would be a top. I, I, you know, people are going to get just run over if they do that. So the best thing to do is to follow the trend, which if you've been doing that with the market, you, you know, you've been making money. And we are continuing higher. We are higher today. So we'll see where this market goes. What what an amazing professional call that I that I made to continue to call this market higher because very few people have. In fact, I don't know anyone that that has, uh, you know, at least that trades or runs a trading room or a trading educational business. It was a gutsy thing to do, but I knew I was right, and I continued to get the confirmation because every time, like I said, every time the market showed any sign of weakness, even if it was for one day which I've reviewed before, but I'm going to go back over it here. The gap down here, the gap down here, the gap down here. We never followed through. We never did. Never. Okay. So the follow through is up. 
Markets higher, breaking and making all brand new all-time highs again today in every in this, and it's a it's a wonderful, amazing thing to watch. So be very careful today if you short. We'll see if we get a big fat green bar today if it comes one day later this week. We're we'll watching everything, the big movers in the market too. And like I said, Netflix reports tonight, Goldman is this week. Earnings season is here. It's a good time to make money trading. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Class is October 21st and 22nd. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.